Monica is asking, I am doing my attention practices. I can see that there are more emotions coming. Maybe I have become more sensitive. Yes, it's possible. The attention makes the layers more sensitive. Just like if you get a cut on your hand or leg, let us say, on the body. If you don't attend to it, there is less pain. You don't even notice the pain. But if you focus on that pain, you will find that it is always there. It is very intense. So you distract yourself by watching TV, listening to music, talking to somebody, doing something else. So your attention is now shifted to something else and the pain does not trouble you that much. So what something similar must be happening that the emotions are always there, more or less, the tiny ones and the major ones, but we don't pay attention to them. But now that you are sitting and noticing, you will see that there are more and they are not more. They were always there. You see, the attention practice has nothing in it that can cause emotions. You can see it is simply shifting of the point of perception. Where am I perceiving today? What I am perceiving now? And that is attention. You can shift it to other objects. So there is nothing in it. This method has nothing in it to generate more emotions. And yes, it will increase the sensitivity. That is just like I gave the example of the pain. Any sensation will be magnified if you attend to it. So there were always emotions. What we call as the causal emotions, causal uh, tendencies, they will start appearing as emotions because they find a point of escape now in the form of emotions. They see, I'm speaking metaphorically here, that they see that the owner of the emotion is paying attention to these things finally. So <laughs> they line up just like when you feed dogs. Now they line up to get the food. They get all the attention. And similarly, the uh, structure, the memory structure, whatever you call as mind in ordinary language, especially the causal layer, gets a chance to purge the pending emotions, the pending issues. So this is a very big paradox, which I've seen myself actually. I've experienced it myself, that people do all kinds of meditation to silence their thoughts, for the peace of mind and so on. And as soon as they sit in meditation, they get a, a deluge, a big <laughs> uh, flood of emotions and thoughts. So then they complain, you know, that this method is not good. Give me some method which makes me totally dumb and like rock. And they do that kind of method then. But no, that is not going to stop it. It will simply suppress it. So my suggestion to Monica is, do not simply attend. Become the witness also. If you become the witness of what, whatever is coming through these layers, they will be cleared. Sublimation in the tantric field, we call it sublimation. Or in the kundalini field, this is the sublimation. What is the meaning of sublimation? When the solid turns into gas directly without going through the liquid phase. So <laughs> the tendencies without going through the karmic manifestation, they are satisfied, they're sublimated. It is a powerful method. So I've given you only 10 minutes or 15 minutes, I think, in the video. But that much is enough because probably your accumulation is too much. In the past, you have accumulated. In the present life, also you are accumulating. There is a, Nobody has taught us the art of letting go. When the event happens, it is not useful. What should we do? We should let go. Forget, forgive. And what do we do? We accumulate, we stick. We say that it is mine. And that is the biggest mistake. It is not mine. As soon as you say that it is not mine, it's gone, you see. It's gone. Because check your own experience that uh, if something is stolen from your house, let us say, your servant steals something, <laughs> it is a very, very irritating, painful event. Because it was yours, isn't it? If something is stolen from somebody else's house, the person you don't even know, well, you don't pay attention to it even for a second. You comment like this, you know, the servants are no more faithful these days. You cannot trust your servants. Something like this and you move on. Nothing has happened because it's not yours. The owning is powerful. You need to let go. It is not mine. I am only witness. This is called awareness. 
साक्षी भाव नाउ द पावर फ्रॉम इट इज रिमूव्ड इट इज सब्लिमेटेड इट इज जस्ट अनदर इवेंट इन द यूनिवर्सल मेमरी जस्ट लाइक ऑल अदर इवेंट्स आर हैपनिंग देयर ऑल द इवेंट्स आर हैपनिंग इन द यूनिवर्सल मेमरी व्हाई शुड आई ओन दिस वन देयर इज नो लॉजिकल रीजन यस इफ इट इज कंसर्न विद द सर्वाइवल देन द क्रिएचर इज गोइंग टू ओन इट दैट इज नेसेसरी बट इफ इट इज सम रैंडम इमोशन समथिंग यू नो इन द पास्ट समथिंग फ्रॉम द फ्यूचर वरीज what will happen something like this and they produce emotions there is no need to own it it is completely useless because you don't need to act on it so my suggestion will be that become the witness you are doing you are getting the results now so that means you are doing it correctly isn't it it is working so our purpose is not to simply bring up the accumulation our purpose is to sublimate it and that is possible only by being the witness therefore the attention is to be combined with awareness otherwise simply paying attention will drive you mad it is the road to madness which many people do either they do a practice which simply suppresses whatever is there is and they go in some kind of trance state where nothing is seen nothing is witnessed and they think oh i am so peaceful today no it is like sleeping why don't you simply sleep then but this this kind of thing will not sublimate anything so i borrowed this word sublimation today just to explain it is not given in our videos so let it come actually you will be given only that much which you can handle don't worry if you are totally aware if you are totally in knowledge that i know what is happening now curiously you see it and you will find that the purification is permanent it is gone forever so hopefully that will help you and send the reports as usual anu is asking my past memories are popping up i am witnessing them but they are recurring again and again what's the meaning of this It depends on the memory what is your attachment to it you see if there is an attachment in the past then they will come up again and again because the mind perceives it as an issue to be solved so it will keep putting keep putting that issue in front of you again and again what is the issue and uh, you will see that as soon as you resolve that issue it can be disowning not mine it can be forgiving okay it happened nobody's fault it was only my mistake something like this you know change your attitude towards whatever has happened in the past of love and forgiving it does not mean that you know if a person is involved or an event is involved it does not mean that you go there and ask for forgiveness no <laughs> that will be a big mistake isn't it you need to do it in the mind so clear it up change the attitude and uh, <clears throat> you will see the difference now it is the mind will just stamp it as resolved it is done you can imagine like there is a to do list in the memory structure a to do list on the top is the unresolved issues of your life they can be of past lives also you know it happens to many that the past lives issues they start coming and on the bottom is your desires and whatever and the bottom most is simply entertainment things you want to do these things at that thing so this to do list keeps coming just like your to do list what should i do today what is the most important thing priority today so that is on top and as you tick mark you know this is done that is done then the list becomes less and less so here in case of anu she is witnessing very good now you need to add a tail to it that's what i call it technically in that memory which has popped up and it is not going back is not you know sublimating then you need to add a tail to it the tail has to be positive the tail has should be colored in the color of done it is done there is no more issue nothing to be done here this is called forgiving also but forgiving is complicated thing but this this thing is you know should be marked as resolved this issue is resolved now and you don't have to only say it you need to change your attitude towards it that nothing really happened here nothing important and uh, it will come back again don't worry it will come back again but it will come back with the tail which you added it will come back in the color of resolved and the mental machinery will say oh it is resolved and every time it comes back 
it will become less and less important finally it won't come back this is the technique and you must be thinking that oh this will take whole day no 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 one second thought comes resolve it stamp it gone sit down quietly more thoughts resolve them actually i have gone through this process myself and there was so much that it used to come in the dreams also in the dreams the to do list pops up that this fellow misbehaved with me now the whole dream is about taking revenge or i did not get this it was injustice and the whole dream is about big being angry or killing people <laughs> and um, blasting them with bombs and so on you see this is the male dream the female dream will be <laughs> something uh, less violent but it is painful so the trick <laughs> i used is to become aware in the dreams it is called and uh, the intention in modern language you can call it programming you program your mind in the waking state that i'll become aware when this event happens in the dream it is very effective and you actually imagine that event happening in the waking state and you then you become aware of it not imagine being aware you become actually aware and you know this will repeat because mind is a creature of habit habit you know program something and it repeats it's a machine so that repeated in the dream now the dream became a very dream instantly this is how you get control in the dreams by awareness only there is no other on the path of knowledge we don't have the tantric tools this is the best tool we have best weapon so as soon as i became aware in the dream and the event started this to do list unresolved issues and instead of acting in the mechanical way the same way you know because of the awareness i could change it and the person who was troubling me in the dream i could change my attitude there okay okay come in you are most welcome okay have tea okay we'll watch the movie and so on you see instead of that impurity i was able to convert it into something less important you see and the result you can guess the dreams disappeared forever even the in the, in the waking state because i am you are aware isn't it so the mind does not get a chance to trouble you that much in the dreaming <laughs> it knows easy easy to trouble you but then you take your awareness in the dream then you know the real purification will happen isn't it so this is what i am sharing okay i am coming to anus first let me check what is mary saying if we say it is not mine doesn't it mean denying or suppressing to experience the experience or denying experiencing emotions and different feelings no 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 you see saying it is not mine will not terminate the experience the it will continue whatever memory is there whatever emotion is there you have to see it completely you should not stop it and the stopping happens automatically just like you watch the rain falling you watch the breeze blowing and uh, you watch the sunrise and sunset do you say it is mine no but will the ex- experience terminate if you say no it is not mine so will it go away no so there are two kinds of rejection <laughs> this one is in awareness and the second one is no i don't want it i don't want this to happen to me and that is suppression attitude is everything here in the awareness the attitude is of neutral watching neutrally watching not suppressing with this full knowledge that it is not mine obviously nothing is yours isn't it <laughs> nothing is yours at the level of duality you are the emptiness so being in this knowledge don't even have to say anything don't even have to think anything be in this attitude the bhava sakshi bhava being the witness not doing something you know not saying something or not thinking something don't do anything be that which you are it is you know some people call it complete acceptance but we don't say acceptance because then you know it it, it means that oh these things are mine i accept them <laughs> no 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 acceptance means letting it be that which it is not owning or not rejecting oh it is something it came up Impu- impurity you don't even need to call it impurity because it's so natural isn't it it is just a reaction of the mechanism there mostly lower things sometimes it is higher so higher example of higher can be you know somebody came to came for help to me somebody knocked at my door i want help and i could not help him let us say because of something now this thought is going to trouble me 
it is not related to the lower layers you know not emotion not desires not survival not anger it is something higher my need to help others was not satisfied and this can be troubling thing so this needs to be disowned again with complete acceptance that okay okay did not happen <laughs> what can i do so that it goes away so not suppression the all these tendencies they can be dealt they can be managed in three ways like you know those who have listened to the podcast first is satisfaction you do whatever is needed assuming that it is mine second is suppression which you know what it is the third is witnessing awareness where you don't need to do anything and it, it is not suppressed also 